Doctors are growing more and more concerned about the recent rise in kids using drugs and alcohol. They tell us many times parents don't suspect that their kids could be abusing substances and don't even know what to look for. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is taking action for you, finding out the warning signs you need to know and what to do if you see them. At the beginning of the pandemic, during times of lockdown, health officials saw substance abuse in kids level out and even decrease because of a lack of access to drugs they had before. However, they transitioned during that time to many of utilizing um, prescription medication or other medications in the home. Those were easier to hide from family members, but now that pandemic restrictions have eased, the access to those substances is again happening. Which is why doctors say they're seeing substance abuse increase again at an alarming rate. Just last week, the Hillsborough County School District held a workshop to address the growing issues with students and substances and make sure teachers are trained to react to that. Data shows that a percentage of Hillsborough County students have tried cigarettes, used vape products, drank alcohol, smoked marijuana, and even used cocaine, heroin, and ecstasy. Health officials believe a lot of this is related to mental health effects from the pandemic. As parents recognizing and hearing our kids if they're bringing concerns to us about depression, anxiety, stress. Doctors want you to watch out for these symptoms that could indicate your child has turned to drugs or alcohol. Changes in sleep or appetite, changes in their activity level or the friend group they're hanging out with, and a lack of motivation and engagement to complete school. And then also if you're seeing more irritability or more fatigue and sleepiness. The CDC says one of the things that you can do if you're worried about your child is talk to their pediatrician about screening for substance use seeking out substance abuse interventions in the community. So we have some great interventions and supports available. But before things get to that point, you can take preventative steps like having clear communication, maintaining an open relationship, know where your kids are when they're not with you, have conversations with them about what they're doing, what their peers are doing, and practice what they should do if they're offered drugs. Doctors want you to be alert and recognize younger kids are using substances too. We start studying it as early as 10 to 14 years of age. In Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.